Welcome to Uncle Stewart's backyard. To be a steward of the earth means you love the natural world. There's only one earth and it's our home, so we need to take care of it. From the worm to the tree, all life is to be respected. Hey stewards, I have a surprise for you today. A surprise that was a surprise to me. But let's start at the beginning. Follow me. This is where the story began. Scarlet was sniffing the wardrobe. I had a feeling it might be worth investigating. When I pulled out this drawer, they were all snuggled in this big cotton I had a decision to make, and I decided to help these little guys out. A few days ago, I found an adult mouse that was killed by one of my cats. I believe it was their mother. Here's what I found in the drawer of the wardrobe. I live in the country, and it's not uncommon to have mice. I don't want them in the house, and have very few. But when I found these babies, the decision was easy. Their mother was gone, and I decided to take her place. These little guys are part of the world, and they needed some help. So now, I'm feeding them. I have some kitten formula made with a double dose of water and an eyedropper so it makes it easy for them to feed. Come here, little buddy. Since Jane Goodall was a young girl, she loved nature and knew that she would rather live in the wild than any other place. She chose to live with the chimpanzees in Tanzania, Africa when she became a young woman. In 1900, there were one million chimpanzees living in the wild. Today, because of humans destroying their home and killing them, there are less than one third still alive in the wild. If not for Jane Goodall, there would be far fewer and little hope for them. She is one of our greatest living stewards. One of her great sayings is, the least I can do is speak out for those who cannot speak for themselves. I fed all four of them about every three hours. Hopefully, soon they will be able to eat solid food like seeds and fruit and when they do, it will be time to release them. Even then, it will be hard for them to survive. It's time to do some research on what I can do to be a good steward with these little mice. Wow, stewards, it's gonna be hard for these little guys to survive in the wild. But from what I've learned, I think I might be able to give them a better chance. Here's an old birdhouse that will serve as a safe home for the mice. I'll put this in here and hope the mice will use it as a home. I could keep them, but I'd have to separate them from each other so they don't breed and have babies. It's better that they go back in the wild. Eventually, I will take this old birdhouse and place it outside with the mice. I'm on my way to the bookstore, the art store, and the grocery store. But I won't need these plastic bags anymore. Never, no more, the end. Because I have my reusable shopping bags. It's amazing how a small change can make such a big difference. Today's moving day for the mice. I've had them for two weeks now. I had to keep them until they could eat solid food before I released them back to the wild. All right, it's time to go, stewards. I have some food, celery, seeds, carrot, 
put some of this out to give them a good start. I have some tissue paper that I'll leave here so they can use it to build a nest. I'm gonna take the tape off of their entrance so they can see their new home. It's time for the quiz. Do you remember? The mice were released after they could drink water or eat solid food. They were released after they could eat solid food. Jane Goodall has devoted her entire life to chimpanzees or mosquitoes. Well, chimpanzees. Why should you use reusable shopping bags? It helps the environment or because it looks cool. Will reusable shopping bags help the environment? Great job! I think it's time for the creed, stewards. As a steward, I vow to protect all life from the bottom of the ocean to the top of Mount Everest. What's around me is part of me and I am part of it. I am a steward. Caretaker of the earth. I'll see you next time, stewards.